Hey, it's Ryan from simplybetterpiano.com and today we're looking at those little slash chords. The chords that when they're written out, they have that little backslash running right through the middle of them. Chopping them in half. What are they? How do you play them? Let's take a look. So slash chords can kind of be confusing, I think, if you're not used to seeing them. I know the first time I saw a slash chord, I thought, what is this? It looks like a chord, but then there's a little backslash and then maybe another chord name next to it. Do we, am I supposed to play both chords at the same time? Maybe it, it's an optional chord. I can play the first one or maybe the, I, I can choose to play the second one or I, I wasn't exactly sure. So here is the secret behind slash chords. It's not meant to be confusing, but sometimes it can be. What a slash chord is, it is the name of a chord and then a, the slash mark indicates that the next note, the, the, the note name that is to the right of the slash chord is actually a note name. And that is meant to be an alternate bass note is what that is. So let's take a look. If you're playing a G chord and it just says G, well, that's great. Then in your left hand, you'll want to play just the root of the chord, a G. You know, sometimes just an individual G, sometimes uh, two octaves of Gs. And that's a pretty typical way to play is your left hand plays the root of the chord. But if you see a slash chord where it says G slash D, what that means is in your right hand, you're gonna still play a G, that hasn't changed, but now your left hand is gonna play a D note. And you hear how that has a little different sound to it, doesn't it? And sometimes you use these to transition to other chords, like you can go from a G, G slash D or G over D, and then that can transition to a full on D chord. Or well, let's look at this example. We have a C chord, whereas if it just said C on the page, you would know, okay, I'm gonna play a C in my right hand, I'm gonna play C bass notes in my left hand. That's great. And if I'm gonna transition to an F chord, let's say, a smooth way to do that is if you play C, and then you could either, if you're writing it or if it's on the page, you might see C, slash E, which means play a C chord in the right hand, and then instead of the C in the left hand, you're gonna play that bass note, E in the left hand, which then leads up to F. Here's a C over a G, and then there's just a regular G chord, and we could take that back to C. So that's the big mystery about slash chords. It's just the name of a chord, that's what your right hand is gonna play, and then the note that is to the right of the slash is actually just a bass note, which is what you're gonna play with your left hand. And this is also useful for an entire band. If you see, let's say C slash E, the guitar player might just play a regular C chord. They may not worry about the bass note at all. They're just gonna play that regular C chord. But the bass player now knows, okay, I'm not gonna play a C, I'm gonna play an E instead. And that's the great thing about piano is piano is kind of its own band, isn't it? We have the chords in the right hand and bass notes in the left hand, and it really gives that nice full sound. So let's watch that one more time. We have C, C slash E, up to F, C slash G, G, and then C. So there you have it. That's what slash chords are all about. If you are interested in getting better at playing chords on the piano, then I highly recommend you take a look at my Quick Start Chord Guide. It's a free PDF download that has step-by-step -step instructions for how to play the five most common types of chords on the piano. You can find that at simplybetterpiano.com slash guide. Go there, download it for free, check it out. Let me know if it's helpful to you. You can come right back here and leave a comment. And if this video has been helpful to you, please also leave a comment. Or if you have any questions about playing piano, playing chords on the piano, bass notes, chords in the right hand, anything like that, if anything has always been confusing to you about playing piano, go ahead and leave that in the comments as well. And I'll respond to you down there or maybe even make it the subject of a video in the future. So otherwise, thanks for being here with me today. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. And otherwise, I will see you at the next video.